Welcome to Beer Money Pulling Team. Sit down. Welcome to Beer up. Money Pulling Hang Team. Hang on. Sit down. Shut up. Hang on. Welcome to Let's Go Pulling, everybody. Monday night, the Monday after uh, the Pullers Championship. Charles looks awake. Bruce looks awake. So life is good. Life is good. How are you guys doing? So-so? So-so? <laughs> Tired, Bruce. but, you know, that's that's coming off a weekend like that. It's bound to happen. Yeah. Bruce, you yep. can you hear us okay, bud? Yep, I can hear you. Cool. So I'm going to kind of recap from just what's in my brain, and then I want you guys to interrupt me and stop me. Just raise your hand, and I'll see it, and I'll stop talking. And then you say something, Charles, or Bruce, you say something. But on behalf of all of us that put on the Pullers Championships, first of all, thank you to Brad Holzauer. Without him, none of this is possible. Brad owns Holzauer Motorsports and has like five different stores, a Harley store, some UTV stores, also owns 618 Motorsports as well. And we went to him, we went to this idea with him a couple years ago, and he's had our back. And um, he's already said that. He said today, well, he told Charles Saturday night, I'm buying more bleachers. I talked to him this morning, and he's either going to buy more or rent more for next year just to based upon how things – oh, we, Roos is setting the mood with the fire, Charles. Right, right. Yes, sir. I just that's figured that I, I some, figured out I could do with it. I could do that. So It's some it's some ambience, Charles. I was going to say, that's, that's the exact word I was thinking of. <laughs> um, thank you to our sponsors. I, I especially want to mention, besides Holzauer, the Lutz Agency – they did the $500 bonus for each class. So if you heard Leroy and Charles announce on Friday night on the live stream or whether you were there in person, um, Lutz Agency gave $500 winner bonuses to everybody who won on Friday night. And then those are the checks that we presented to those pullers underneath the uh, announcer's tower. So thank you to them. Also, thank you to Prescription Tillage Technology. Um, it was funny talking to the pullers. Like, what's that? Is it prescription or pilly? It was so funny talking to all the pullers because they wanted to say the right thing. And I said, just look at your trophy, guys. And then I said, I'll help you with that. <laughs> so they're our title sponsor. And then also um, Chaos Fabrication for uh, sponsoring the ProSoc class. Um, if you're a, a builder 
or uh, a sponsor of truck and tractor pulling, this event gives every dollar back to the pullers. So as you can, if you start to budget for 2024, set a couple bucks aside for us, for the pullers. It's not for us, it's for the pullers. If pullers are a big part of your life or your if farming or your company or your big, you know, your sassy racing engines or whatever, I'm not calling them out, but that's the first thing SRE came to the pop of my head thinking of Steve Bunnage and his four brand new motors. Um, class sponsors this year were 5,000. I'm assuming we'll keep them there. We haven't had that meeting yet or not. Title sponsor, we're looking for like a $25,000 sponsor to title sponsor this event, or like a presenting sponsor, $1,000 sponsors. There's different things like that. So we know a lot of you set your budgets up ahead of time. Um, and we did not get ahead of it this year, like we said we were going to. And, you know, many of you said to us, hey, hit us up next year. Well, we're knocking right now for 2024. Hello? We want you to sponsor the Polar's Championship. So that's my, uh, I'll get off my soapbox on that. Um, to the fans, thank you. This is our biggest TPC yet. Friday night was supposed to get rained out. If you watch the radar, I had I had tech officials coming up to me saying, Jason, you're not going to have a poll tonight. And I said, don't give up yet. <laughs> and uh, Clint Tucker had the track covered and, and everything like that. But if you were watching the radar, 20 miles north of Nashville, Illinois, it freaking poured like water in the fields. If you don't believe me, yeah. go look at Steve Bunnage's Facebook page. There's water in their fields from, from Friday night. All of our phones were blowing up. I was asking the crowd. Charles was asking the crowd, if you're here, post on Facebook, Snapchat, whatever, that the sun is out in Nashville, Illinois. And it was. Uh, we did get some sprinkles throughout the evening. A couple times I thought it was going to be too much, but we never, ever stopped the action. We didn't have to. It was just kind of a steady sprinkle, and the crowd yeah. stayed there with us. Dust control. Yep. And with that crowd that we saw Friday night with that, we knew in our hearts that we were going to have a, a packed house Saturday night. And it was, it was very, very packed Saturday night. Um, in comparison, if you came to the Polar's championship, year number one, the Saturday night crowd in year number one was similar to the Friday night crowd on year number two. And if all of us that promote polling or involved in polling, if you go to a two day event, that Friday night crowd's always a little bit tougher because people get off of work and stuff like that. And Saturday we we had a ton of media people there um, letting them know that this stuff was going on. And if you're a two-day event and you're not pounding the piss out of your event on Friday night on social media and letting your fans know that you're going to be back here the same time tomorrow night, you're crazy not to do that because you can truly build a Saturday night event if you have a good Friday night event as well. So thank you to thank you to everybody who bought the live stream. We're thinking seven, 800 people were on the live stream purchase right. live streams. But, you know, you know, I got text messages from people that had 20 people in their shop or at their campground. And I know Nora's Tavern in, um, in Wisconsin was watching it. It's like they do Louisville. Um, a Cheers, lot of Nora's. Like Cheers to Nora's. Yeah. So Short Fighty, I got to say this. I got to stop my rant for a second. That was So Short Fighty said to me uh, Friday, guys, there was dew that morning. I knew we were good. Because <laughs> he said, Schultz, we're having the pool. It's not going to rain out. We had dew this morning. And, and I always think that. Whatever red red skies sailors delight or whatever that saying is something like that. So, um, Clint Tucker, you built a hell of a pulling track, sir. Thank you very much. Um, we've watched you do it at Shipshawana a bajillion times at Gordyville. Friday night, the track was dry, um, and I'll tell you why it was dry. Uh, yeah. They opened it up Thursday. It was very very wet uh, with the impending forecast. He built it and threw tarps on it, and then as as you all know, if you've built a track before. The tarp really dries it out, and we peeled the tarp off one hour before showtime. We then, um, you know, we had mini rods early, and we had light supers early. Probably some of the most insane, insane. <laughs> <laughs> we both tried, tried to, to do it at the same on. time. <laughs> uh, Charles and I are both trying to let Cody on at the same time. But when you have that much tire speed and that little bit of weight, they were just sitting on top and spinning. So um, some moisture was added to the track on Saturday night, and then Tyler Slaw went for. I'm not going to say the ride of his life because uh, there's he's, a, there's he's a going all the way over before. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's yeah, a whole is. highlight reel of just Tyler slaw rides. So, but thank you to Clint Tucker and his team. That show was moving and they did an awesome job with that track. Um, thank you to the pro polling league. We hired them this year to be the competition director. Again, this was a non-sanctioned event. It will continue to be a non-sanctioned event, but they made our lives a million times easier by scale, teching and flagging allowed us 
allowed Cody and Ryan to just take pictures. It allowed Charles to just announce. It allowed Paul to worry about pro stocks. It allowed Brent to worry about crowd control and everybody that's involved with this event. I remember, I remember last year feeling so bad because we were – I was, you know, four ones were first. I was pulling last year and watching, you know, Romack and Yarn just run around with their heads cut off back there in the starting line area because we just – we didn't have the lineup organized. And this year, it just – it really took a big weight off. So thank you to John and Christy and all the tech officials that were there to do that. And obviously, Amy Jo was upstairs with Charles and Leroy yep. all night in announcer stand, and she's been doing this um, for a long time. Shout out to all the media guys. Especially Adam Wilson built the Mafia. He's a sponsor. Uh, JP Polling Productions for fantastic photos that we got up right away that night during the show. Um, you know, highlighting our winners. He was sending those to Yarin. I was sending the picture underneath with the puller with the five thousand dollar check uh, to make that happen. And then um, thank you to everybody who shared our stuff everywhere. It is so fun to scroll your social media feed and just see it full of the Pullers Championship from. For Bradley Sturgeon to, uh, you know, little YouTubers to big YouTubers. I mean, we had the king of YouTube there, Adam Wilson. And, you know, and we had a lot of new guys there, Jonah Hill. And I, I can't, I don't want, I can't name everybody. Clayton was there from Foggy Bottom. Obviously, Vanderhome Media, Big Rye. Allie Post was taking pictures. I mean, it's awesome to see that. And when I've been seeing it, I've been sharing it to the TPC page, as all of us has. But it was um, a great, great event. So just thank you so much to everybody. Um just fun seeing that place full of happy pulling fans Saturday night. So, Charles, that's my opening line. We are going to get into we're, – we're going to share a screen tonight after we all talk for a little bit and share all the final results. Um, this was a point system like Bowling Green, low score wins. So if you got first on Friday, like Brandon Simon, and then fourth or third on Saturday night, then you had four total points, right? And yeah. then if we had some ties, which we had multiple ties, then we went to total distance. And um, it's fun to see that. And you'll see in that super farm class how tight it was between first place and, like, sixth place. It was, like, six or seven feet for the two nights. But, you know, Jeremy Roberts came out on top both nights with Wicked Whitetail. Um, don't ask us what classes we're having next year. Um, none of that yet. Way just, too early to know that right just now. Please, 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 please put some sponsorship money away for this event for next year. Whether it's a thousand bucks, whether it's five thousand bucks, whatever you want to do, and reach out to one of us now. Whoever you're most comfortable talking to, Brent, Paul, Doug, Bork, Charles, Roos, Cody, Leroy, whoever, reach out to us now. Write it down so we can follow up on it and and and, and, and much talk about all of that. So, um, and if and if you want, if you and if you want the light limited supers, start stocking away your money right now. Yeah, you don't have enough money. Just heads up. <laughs> oh, shut up. They may get their day in the sun. Maybe they campaign hard. Well, you know what? I'm not going to say no. How about that? So, I'm not going to say no. So you're saying there's a chance. That is a team decision. That is a team decision. So that is. I know. Uh, I, I know, know it is. Just, like to stir the pot. I'm just, I'm, I'm, so. I'm just trying to get on pull off me and my fire pit. <laughs> <laughs> All you got to do is say woo. Or uh, not be professional, then you like me, and then you can make pulloff.com, guys. I can I can teach a class on how to be on pulloff.com, so it's uh, like, yeah, I'm the expert yeah. in that. So I guess that would mean that then that we never mind. <laughs> I, I, I I had a class fillers joke. Oh yeah, what a bunch of shit. Um, I hope people do understand that. You know why didn't you see Ken Venue there? He was invited, guys. He was he was invited, but he said no. Why aren't the Mastersons there? They they were they were automatically invited. They said no because of farming. Why wasn't Blaine Stam? I'm just trying to I'm going through the comments in my head. Yeah. It's not all fan voted, guys. It's not all fan voted. We start yarn, send out the invites. When guys? August, November, right? Or October, November last year? I think it was like yeah, October. Yeah. And they, they basically have like eight weeks to accept or decline. So we we went out and we it's like top three of this association, this class, but it's focused on PPO, Outlaws, and NTPA, and the major state level organizations. Automatic invites go out to the top finishers or the points champ. They have until the end of the year to claim that spot. Pay 500 bucks, lock it in. The rest of it's fan voted, okay? Um, we have to do that for you, the fan. You want to know who you're going to see. You don't want to just – because if we don't take that 500 bucks – you know, and 500 bucks is, isn't a lot to probably somebody who owns a four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars pro stock. But we need to know that's kind of our insurance policy that I'm going to do my best to show up. You know, and then the last two weeks we scrambled 
to fill a couple spots, dyno breakage, um, people, you know, not, not enough parts coming in and stuff like that. But we filled it the best we could. Um, yeah. I, I've had competitors ask me, you know, about the $500 and, and entry fee. And I, I always correct them. I say it's not an entry fee. It's your performance bond that you'll show up because if you come, if you show up, we're giving it back to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tenth place. And we don't have the payout completely figured out yet. Brad and his team just got the money counted today. Um, got some preliminary numbers this afternoon from Brad. He called. And we know kind of what the, what the live stream did. But we're paying all of it back. So every dollar amount, like I paid, I thought the remedy would be there. Um, I registered it last, you know, I got it. I got the auto invite because of, because of Brad uh, for the 401 class. I paid my 500 bucks. I donated that to, to the purse. It gets all chucked in there. Esden Lane, he paid 500 bucks. He doesn't get that back. So that that's, those are just the rules. Those are just the rules. Yep. So um, I like how it's set up. I think we have, we have an awesome thing. We just, we're good. We're good. I, I'm just reading, I don't know. Uh, if you guys are keeping up with the comments, all Charles or Cody or Roos, if you guys want to pop any of those on the screen, um, just let me know. So just seeing that crowd Saturday night, guys, that made my whole year. I'm not going to lie to you. That As a promoter, that just seeing that place full and then talking to everybody afterwards. Um, as I, thought, as in, I yep. thought he did. Yeah, he did. You're right. Light yeah. super and heavy super. As in, yeah. thank you for the donation. The yeah. pullers are going to the pullers. So. Uh, Schultes, Binder Express, Ryan Anderson broke. Did he break on the dyno or did something not come in, Roos? Part didn't come in. Okay. Uh, Punky, Screaming Norwegian was the next one up Next one up on the fan vote. Uh, they were waiting on parts. And uh, Schultes stepped up. They were the next one on the fan vote. Schultes wouldn't have made it. The next one up was Capazzo's um, Cruel Intentions. That's, I mean, that's how close it could have been, you know, for them to be there. And then they, I got a hold of Dan on Tuesday. I said, I have to know by the end of the day, we're moving on the next one. And he called. His turbo, I think he, I think he runs an Apex. I would, I'm he, not he sure. He's a salad he line, but I'm now, sure but he does. I don't does. know if we're supposed to say that. <laughs> oh, whatever. Yeah. It's, it's let's grow pulling, but he had to call his turbo guy, and he said it'd be on Wednesday. And Dan and Debbie and Morgan and Wyatt showed up Friday. Um, we did let the the NTPA Super Farms ran farm show rules, so the non intercooler tractors weighed 9,500 pounds. The intercooler tractors weighed 9,300 pounds, and if you look at the results, they were they were. Stacked in there nice, guys, mm -hmm. for the Super Farm class. Yep. They put on a great show. Um, there is a survey out. Yaren posted the survey. I don't know. Did he put it on pull-off? I know he put it on Facebook, guys. I I don't I don't think it's on pull-off, but I did see it on Facebook, and I have shared it, yeah. Um, every, I need everybody sharing that. Cody, Roos, everybody that's on our show, as well as everybody watching the show. As a spectator, we want to know what you thought. We want constructive criticism. We, we truly yeah. do. Um, we, we need to know fans, what the fans maybe don't notice it, but the competitors do. We had a suggestion given to us Saturday afternoon by Don Slama. We made a change because of it. Yep. Yeah. Well, we we listen. And that's why I respect people that give me a chance to make a change. Jeff Hurt got a hold of me right away Saturday morning. Says I need more water in that track because yes. it was too dry last night and we ruined tires. And we put more water in that track, and Tyler Slaw went woo. And Donnie and Donnie Sullivan went woo. And you so know? did Bruce with his test pass. He, he yeah, had to you're get right. out of it. So um, yep. it was two different tracks from night to night. And honestly, that's what Slama even told me. And he told all of us. He talked to us all separately. I know he did. He, he said he did. But, you know, switching tracks back and forth and making it different from night to night. It's a true championship level pull. You know, it, you don't want to pull on the same track. Kind of know how you had your tractor set up, you know, guessing around and, and stuff like that is um, and giving it a, a good shot there. So and that guy right there loves pulling as much as we do. And he thinks about it as much as we do. And yep. um, Jeremy, and I can, Yantes, I can never say his last name right. I give up. I can't even say Charles' last name right ever, but he's one of my good friends. So <laughs> I still feel bad. After 45 so. years, I've given up correcting people anymore. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. So. Preach. Well, Roos, he, he spelled it for me once with the, with the hyphen, Roos, Inc. So that, that's the post. You need to do that for me if you could do that pronounced possible. So I can figure that out. So. Um, no, just excited. Waking up today, no, just felt good. Just felt good. There was always that anxiety of having the event and the weather. Um, our promoter, Brad Holzauer, is beyond beyond happy. Uh, a lot of us talk to the people from the Lutz Agency. They're already excited for next year. And then Brad's having a PPL pull in two weeks, <laughs> right back at the facility. Less than two weeks, June 2nd and June 3rd, for all of you in that area. He's bringing back Pro Polling League. Um, I think he's running a local... Shit, Illinois Hot Farm class 
with some Western Series stuff. Um, but please go support that poll again. I think four ones and come mini, back. And yeah, minis, minis are back. Minis and big yeah. bros. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to start and, talking about highlights a little bit, like Charles, Roos, Cody, what you saw this weekend. Neat some of the storylines. Uh, I want to start out with mine. Um, we had pullers from California to New York and somebody from Canada. Evil Diesel was there. So, I mean, we can truly say we had it all covered. Fagundis was there. That was awesome. He had both of his mini rods there. Donnie drove one, obviously, and then Robbie drove the other one. And to see Mary, is it Keel or is it Kale, guys? Keel. I always said Kale, but. Okay. Is it? Um, I thought it was. I, I thought. Go ahead, They announced themselves as Kale, so. Okay. But after watching that, I watched the live stream, uh, Will Witt's live stream down there in Ocala. Watched them turn that, flip that thing over. Charles, can you tell the people what happened down there in Ocala? What broke? Um, the the hitch itself is was a, the the start of the problems, and it got away from the sled. Of course, kill switch did its job, but there was still momentum there. So she did kind of a wheelie away, and then when the nose crashed down, it flipped over forward on on the cage, and then barrel rolled half a roll and ended up on its tires. But uh, the car in the course of doing all that, it broke the frame. Um, they pretty much yep. had to jump most of the tractor, and so. What they were pulling this weekend was uh, fired up for the first time uh, six days before Friday, or maybe even five days, with a brand new engine, brand new fuel supercharger, and a brand new modern machine chassis that they had just picked up, you know, the week before the event. So um, it would have been nice to pull the pro stocks in the grand side side and whatnot. Yeah, Kevin. So here's why. So Brandon Mungart was the only sled operator there that that night could, that could handle the pros, the mods, and the minis. So we kept them on that same track for that particular reason because we wanted Brandon Bungar is is able to handle those big ones. So that's what that's exactly what I was told. So that's why you didn't see the pros flip tracks uh, to keep everything moving the best we could there. So track really came to life when the sun started to set. Yeah, that mod class Saturday night was the shit, guys. Yeah, it was awesome. They it took every ounce. Like I said to uh, Brent Yarn was down at the end doing crowd control down there at the end, and I said to him. When Simon got beat with the pro stock, I said, I feel sorry for the throttle on the mod because yeah. he's going to bend it. <laughs> and, <laughs> and when, you see, when you see both Dylan Owens and Jamie Austin completely bury their wheelie bars in the track because they hooked so hard, it's yeah. a good track. That's mm -hmm. awesome. I was impressed with the level of competition this year. Everybody stepped up so their game. Um, it was... Every class was an absolute war if you were going to try and win it. And it was fun to mix up guys from different parts of the country that don't pull against each other or compete against one another on a regular basis and see see where everybody comes out at. It was it was fun yep. for that reason. Um, and, and I was really impressed with the smoothness, having PPL there to help and us having an extra year of experience now with it and just kind of understanding the logistics and the layout of the place and the feel for what – what's working and what's not um, happy with that. I was happy with that. Yeah. Um, yeah. The amount of effort that Brent Yarn put into the running everybody down and stuff like that. It was nice that he could actually get to the event, and not have to kill himself. It made me feel yeah. a lot better this year <laughs> for sure. A hundred percent. Paul too. Um, you know, building that pro stock for whole hours and then also helping with the four ones. I mean, talk about a crazy, we, crazy, we, crazy we've talked in years past that we about the idea of like trying to add a Saturday afternoon session and maybe some different classes. And we discovered a problem this year. We don't have the space. There's nowhere to put them. We can't yeah. get more haulers in there. Yeah. And I, guys, honestly, you're going to have, I mean, you'd have a hell of a time talking me in, and I'm just one vote, but you'd have a hell of a time talking me in to add the Saturday afternoon session. I'd rather, yeah. uh, I'd rather do a band Saturday afternoon and, you know, maybe bump up the kids' stuff some more. The kids' at play area did well. I know the, the pedal pole had a lot more kids this year, Charles, and guys yeah. than they did last year. So, and it was Benny McKinnon's granddaughter who won one of her won her weight class anyway. So there's another no kidding another generation going there. That's cool. I talked to a friend of mine who goes and camps at a lot of pools, and he was there, you know, camping with his family. And he said, you know what, of all the places they go and do this, um, both that and and auto racing, drag strips and whatnot, so this is the coolest one because it's the only place where you can go and you're, you're camping, and the second you open your door and walk out, you're right in the pit area. I mean, it's there. Yep. That had to be awesome. 
Yeah. Yeah. Brad um, Holzauer said the minis have been the biggest um, compliment to him today as a promoter when he's talking to like, you know, the employees at work and local people. Obviously, Tyler Slaw doing the whoop de doo was, um, the you know, the, the most talked about. Unfortunately, Carnage is what, um, you know, there is not a – every wild ride video, every good YouTuber has a big wild ride video. Yeah. And stuff like that's in there, uh, unfortunately. But so I posted that picture on TPC's Facebook page yesterday. Tyler texted me that. They had that tractor, the motor out and on the chassis table by 3 p.m. yesterday, Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. So to get so they can come back and support Holzauer's event. June second and June third, so that was pretty cool, guys. So, yeah. Cool. By the time we, uh, by the time I was, I was texting Tyler a little bit here and there too, and uh, uh, we had a late dinner with some friends uh, last night. By the time we were done with dinner, by about eight o'clock, he sent me pictures. It says we got that thing straight within twenty thousands. So they're coming back. I can say that I do not have any funny party Same. drinking photos because when it's time for that, the cameras get put away because I don't want to have yep. evidence. As they, um, as they, but also be. with my my particular circumstances this year, there was no late partying for me either night. I was I had to go mm -hmm. to bed. I couldn't I couldn't keep functioning uh, to do that. Yep. Brandon Simon says, "Ask Paul." Ask Paul what about funny drinking videos, pictures? <laughs> oh, could I'm not be. sure what Brandon has there. Oh, I, I I know what now. I know what he's what Brandon's talking about. <laughs> can you say can you say it online or no? So. No, I'm not going to. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank. That's all we need, Brandon. We're good. We're good. Um, I've been sober for nine days now. Um, the last time I drank was Glencoe, Kentucky. So I'm gonna keep it like that for a while. So Chase Richardson can do a test that. Yeah, my wife just on uh, me in the other room, so it's all good. Everybody's like, "Why aren't you drinking, Schultz?" I'm like, "I'm good for a while. I'm good for a while." So, yeah. Jeez, so what did they feed you in Glencoe, Kentucky? A bottle of Crown Royal, all by myself. Yeah, that all yeah. by myself. So that'll yep, do. Yep, I'm a moron. Oh yeah, the farm truck guy. I don't know his real name. I just know him as Farm Truck. But he was there Friday night, and I didn't freaking see him, Charles. If I would have saw him, he would have yeah. been at an announcer stand with you. I didn't know he was there until until Ryan had texted me. Of course, you know, being upstairs, you don't always necessarily catch everything like that as far as that goes. I he's always at Waggler's track whenever I'm down there doing stuff. So I've I've talked to yep. him before. He's he's a really cool guy. Yeah. Yep. I spent I spent some time talking to him that night too, and he was uh he was impressed with the show. He he said, This is amazing. He said, uh, I asked him, I said, how the hell did you get here? He said, well, you know, Jeremy builds my motors. And I said, yeah. And he said, uh, uh, he said, Jeremy was coming down here. He says, you want to go to, a, you want to go tractor pulling? And he's like, well, hell yeah. And so we did. And he came out and hung out with the fans and, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's done the things. He had a blast. He thought, um, diesel supers were the nuttiest things ever. And he was super impressed with uh, uh, with Boots's pass on Friday night, even though Boots wasn't impressed with Boots's pass. <laughs> but no, it was good to it was good to run to to run Todd down. Todd, uh, Farm Truck's first name is Todd. Okay. Um, and uh, it was good to run him down. And I I had talked to him a few times before and at an event where uh, Charles was as well and. Uh, actually did my introduction to drag racing because um, I wrote shotgun uh, with Adam Wilson's wife in a drag race. Right. And that's right. That was a couple farm, years ago. And farm trucks daughter treat us twice. And it was fun. We had a blast and farm truck remembered too, which was neat. That is neat. Um, for, you know, there's a ton of video guys on YouTube, Facebook, just go search for the Polish championship. I mean, there's awesome video from all the classes there, I love this comment. I don't know who Aaron Kern is, but this is neat. The highlight for me was to chat up with Shannon Leishner, Jefford, and Bruce Law up on the stands. What a great group of guys and very gracious for us to come and watch them compete. I mean, where else do you get to sit and I mean and talk with you know legendary pullers like that? I don't know if Shannon Leishner is legendary, but Jeff Hurt and Bruce Law are. I hope Shannon's watching this and just gave me the middle finger. Mr. I'm gonna bring my mod and I'm gonna pull there. And then he didn't show up. That calling you out, Leishner, next year. Come on, buddy. Get there. 
But Bill did say they're going to have a mod ready for next year. I, one of you, he told one of you guys yeah. that. I know. I heard that through the grapevine. Well, when he came to sign in the mini on Friday afternoon, we asked him if he if he felt like going back home and coming back with another truckload of tractors. <laughs> yep. So, um, the highlight for me, one of my stories, having Brandon Simon come in late, and that's a huge name in polling, one of the biggest names in polling, if not the biggest. And um, having him there was huge for the pro stock class, the defending champ, and then have him come out and lump ass Friday night and talking shit during his <laughs> winner's speech on Friday night. <laughs> and then uh, he come out of the hole Friday night and got to the right. I, we saw – I'll stand next to you, Charles. He had the pound on that line. <clears throat> we saw that front end bob, and that hurt his distance. Yep. And Parrish slid it, the sled over and freaking rolled one out there. Um, but that's pulling, and Brandon knows that just like everybody else. It was a hoot. But um, yep. but Brandon got in because of um, Peter Norton dropped out. You know, we lost a, a big name, and we got – you know, Brandon and Brandon was able to bring the mod – because we lost uh, – who did we lose on the mods? We lost Brett Berg and Ricky Rose right before the event, guys. They were yeah, planning on being yeah. there. They, then, their forecast showed rain in Minnesota, and they were going to farm until the absolute last second. Everything was loaded, and then they were on their way. And Ricky Rose was really, really, really disappointed, and so was Brett Berg. Brett Berg you know, yep. talked to both of them, and they were just bummed, completely bummed that they weren't able to be there. So, And Ferris Bank – even brought his truck and trailer with no truck in it. That's how dedicated that guy is. And he was out there even reading the track. Charles and I were making fun of him. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, he was, he was out there poking around for gas lines. And <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Ben Haney says, highlight of my weekend. Yes, tell us your highlights, guys. Tell us what you loved about the Polish Championship. Um, yep. Highlight of my weekend, TPC, 20, the Stout Super Farm Class, both sessions. I agree 1 million percent. Talking to playing with fire semi pulling and boneyard pulling team by ambush, seeing some IH red in the championship circle, the 618 pro stock reveal, and hanging out with the clan I was there camping with. Shouting out to Shore Fighty and Travis Lava on their weekend sweeps. Yeah, no, that's that's cool. Thanks, Ben. And Ben's Ben's a big supporter of this event from a social media standpoint. He shares everything, everything yep. about uh, this event. So I feel like we got the locals this year, guys, and we got the, I talked to who Charles, Cody, Ryan, I talked to fans from freaking all over the country. I don't know. I mean, people drove 9, 10, 12 hours to this yeah. event. And, and people said they already have their hotel, hotel rooms booked for next year. So I don't know what you guys saw. So it's, I mean, it's hard, you know, at least during the event anyway. I, you know, I don't get to interact really with anybody doing what I'm doing. But, yeah, walking around the pits and during the day. And, yeah, there was people from everywhere. It felt like, you know, you get in a conversation with somebody and oh where are you from and, oh, i'm from pennsylvania and i'm from i drove here from nebraska to be here you know and, and just story after story just like that yeah jeff hurt yeah. you're the man um you won 10 grand at uh, mac trailer winter nationals you won five grand at toller's championship but my favorite thing about jeff hurt is saturday morning he had some feedback for me early right away and yeah. um he, he's like i don't you know jeff i don't want to sound like i'm bitching you know he's like, <laughs> i'm just like you're not just no. tell me what's up We'll talk to the team and we'll make it. And they wanted some water on that track for the minis. And we did it. And, yep. it, you know, so, but I, what I, I love about Jeff on that. With and, the exact you know, same conversation with him that morning. Yep. Yeah. Um, the pullers, you're not bitching. Don't be an armchair quarterback. Don't wait until freaking Wednesday after the event to say that the sound sucked on the live stream. I didn't know the sound. I have not watched the live stream yet. If the sound went in and out a little bit, we're going to fix it. Um, yeah. I'm sorry that I talked on top of some of the pullers. Charles, I had a hard time hearing you guys underneath. I was no, watching the screen to try to see when I should yak. Um, yeah. I'm not sorry for saying woo. I'm not sorry for having fun. I'm not sorry for each other, being just, my friends. <laughs> talking over each other is part of it. I'm I'm standing three feet away from Leroy, and we still do it to each other sometimes. It, it's just it's the nature of it. Um, Shannon Pointers, this is cool. Tyler Slaw actually gave him the hat off Tyler's head to Shannon. He showed it to me. I, Shannon was just ended up camping next to us, next to our motorhome, and he had Tyler's hat. I mean, how cool is that? Tyler, I love you and your dad. You guys are so good for pulling. Just the the fun, the the, the I want to win, the do whatever. Even Jeff Hurt commented on one of the posts, like, they're just the best. You know, they're the best for doing that out there, so. He was oh he was poking around for Crowder, yeah. Little after he wins, he's saying he picked the line. Yeah, like, uh -huh. make sure that job. <laughs> We're just picking on you, Ferentz. You know that. 
Who had the best food in the pits after the poll, guys? Who'd you? Anybody got any comments on that? I don't know because, especially Friday night. I mean, we were as soon as we were done, I pretty much headed for the hotel room. Um, Same. I don't know. Um, Tolkies. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Probably. Tolkies. Andy, kudos to you putting yourselves out there, winning ideas to improve the event. Yep. We could, we that's just wants to get better. I know Brent put the surveys out, and we took we took a lot from the surveys last year. That even came into picking classes for this year. So I don't know. Yar must have got called into work because he was going to be on the night. And I, I I know what Paul's doing. We all know what Paul's doing. Mm -hmm. Getting the pro stock ready for uh, two weeks. Um, yeah, the sound. I just wish I wish some of my friends like Kevin Moore and Chuck Hobbs. I wish I could have got a text message from you, Peckerheads, uh, Saturday morning. I will say it like the, the audio mixing issue we didn't necessarily know about, but the the cutting in and out Friday night we did know. Um, Ryan Zolik did know. He was he was upstairs running that right next to us as announcers. The it, the intermittent piece of it was not on our end. Um, it's something downstream because we have a laptop up there that we can pop open and and then basically watch what you're watching and spot check it. And we never got that to do it. So. I apologize that it was an issue, but it wasn't really something we could control. Uh, let's see here. But live stream is going to be a big part of our future, guys. And we're taking equipment into some of these places. Now, the track and holes hour is very up to date. But a lot of these places we go into, you know, they're old fairgrounds built in the 50s that you have to. It's not It's not always that easy, but we're going to try to make it better. I promise you that. So Rusty Ray watched the live stream. That's awesome. The 4-1 champ swept, says, I talked to fans from Kansas, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Tennessee, and Mississippi. Holy cow, Mississippi. I didn't talk to anybody from Mississippi. Thanks to all the fans for supporting this event. No, it makes it off. It was so cool to see the smile on Holzauer's face as he was cruising around on his moped, seeing that place full of people. Um, happy birthday to Kevin Moore. He's got the little red hooker ready, and he's taking it to Wisconsin this weekend. Um for the is it the Kevin Rudd Memorial Shootout? I think Sunday. Somebody can comment about that. Dylan Oliver, I had a blast this weekend. Nothing like getting some womp womp up close and getting them fire breathing big pro stock. They do. They shoot fire out those trash can stacks. Um, man, it's awesome. Keith Witt had the best food. Okay, we'll remember that. And he does have the best ice cream sandwiches. I can vouch for that. I can vouch for that. Tillman Temple says Tolkien. Uh, oh, Tolkien's coming in strong with the food, guys. Uh, Tolkien, Tolkien ribeye, yeah. pork steaks, yeah. and burgers. He was, he was good. Dusty Berry, thanks for having us. Cole Roller, 4-1, Limited Pro, for those of you who don't know him from Oklahoma. Had a great time seeing your group of pullers. Sorry we had to cut out early and head to the shop. Yeah, I don't I don't yeah. know. Did you get a piston, or was it worse than a piston Friday night? Dustin? He sent me a borescope picture. It, a piston got pretty well junked. Yeah, so. Well, Doug Meisinger's watching. So, do we start beating the drum for the for the rematch next year? Because yeah, well, he already he already did. Okay, oh, he's, he's already, already started. He already did. He's already yeah. started. Great. We had awesome steaks. Thanks, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I'll bring my own next year. You want to cook it? Uh, a great. I think the vendors, the food vendors, were did well this year, guys. I, I didn't hear any complaints about any of that at all, so that's good. Yeah. So I shout heard out I saw an awful heard, lot of lemonade, that's for sure. I was gonna say I heard a lot about the pork nachos were good. So yeah, shout I out to too. Carrie Lowry, yep. Carrie Lowry for hooking up all the, um, the vendors on the grounds. How about we just uh, uh, big shout out to Carrie Lowry for being Carrie Lowry and being pretty much awesome. Yeah. yeah, she's our boots on the ground with Paul down there. Um, Paul lives an hour and a half, hour forty five minutes away, and uh, Carrie is she's uh, she's irreplaceable. She does it freaking all. So, um, Brad caught him. Yeah, JK, Jump and Jack Flash was voted in. Uh, they broke on the dyno, so they were supposed to be there. So they and and Ferens felt terrible. <laughs> Kevin, we didn't watch till Saturday. Peckerhead. <laughs> yeah, I'm just. <laughs> I just want to know. We all want to know. Hey, Chuck Hobbs. Do they, hey, spell, Sa Do they spell Saturday different in Illinois? So Do we need to Devin starts drinking bush lattes <laughs> around 530, and he's a short feller. He doesn't have the alcohol consumption ability that some of us bigger guys have. So he's uh, he's slurring his, he's slurring his typing already, guys. So 
he's he's what is it? He's typing in cursive. He's yeah. typing in cursive. I know somebody that said that if I start walking in cursive, take take yes. me to the hotel. <laughs> I yes. Like, I don't know. That's kind of interesting. That's actually pretty funny, Cody. You yeah, well, you normally don't say funny things. That's funny, Cody. So. Well, I know who said it. He was just copying them. So I mean. Oh. Least, you okay. Know. Yeah. Tim right. Schnitaker, um, is I'm, I'm sure that's part of the Schnitaker clan, DNR. I live only 14, yeah, it has to be. I live only 14 miles from the Holzauer track. Had family stuff all weekend, but I heard so many good things about the whole weekend. Heard it was an amazing experience. I'm guessing you heard the mods from 14 miles away. <laughs> Be my guess. Yes. Oh, it's a fun, funny story that about that for the, for the big mods. So my daughter went with me to be a photographer, and she's been going to pools with me for a couple of years, but she'd never seen Grand National level mods up close. And so Friday night, Bunge was the first one. And after after the run, I ran downstairs real quick and said, what do you think of that? And she's like, that was amazing, and these pictures are going to suck. <laughs> she was not ready for it. <laughs> I just had to laugh because I was like, what do you think? And she's like, that was loud. And she told me the same thing. The pictures were going to suck. <laughs> um, if you're a YouTuber or a Facebooker, a Facebooker, a Facebooker, um, please send me send me the link to my personal Facebook page. I'll share your video while we're chatting on the screen. If you want me to share your video, put that up there for me. Send it to my personal Facebook page, Jason Schultz. And I'll share that for while you. We're on, while we're on the topic of mods, I suppose it'd probably uh, get us kicked off air if we started talking about the yeah. Amy Joe Estes conversation. <laughs> uh, yeah, we yeah we can't go there. No, it's too early. For but that. it's but it's funny. It's not but it's time. funny, and you can ask us at a poll. Yes. Yeah. And we'll all Dustin, tell the same story, and you will laugh. Dustin Blair, I enjoyed the show and had a blast. Chuck Hobbs waiting on engines, so he's not going mini rod pulling this weekend. Ference Vig Jr. says, not saying this to pump anybody's ego, but Charles and company did an awesome job announcing, and when John and Christy line up, the show it's spot on. Thank you, Ference. I appreciate you. When you said Titanic, I... I about cried, Charles. It was it was so good. Your voice. I don't know. I don't remember the exact. I, I think John Murray was keeping a running log of how many uh, multiple syllable words I used. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Brent Shore Friday. Keith Witt made some amazing fried fish. So sounds like we got to have no matter what we got to have Tolkien's and Witts back next year, no matter what <laughs> for some reason. Yeah. Steve Gross is checking in from Warsaw, Kentucky. He's Steve, he's one good part to see of you. Thank client. you for coming. Yeah, Steve's yeah, the head wrench for the solar. Yep. How's Donnie feeling? He, Papa yeah. Wayne said, Schultz, that mini rods are dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Uh, Kevin's about to load the hooker. Shane Hunt, I called him raccoon eyes. Had to how about the diesel showing up in the light super stock class? So yeah. Um Adam Wilson had a really good video of uh light trouble. Uh, Hale's tractor. I got a good video of it from the starting line. Go check. Yeah, that thing is sharp. I mean, it was. Just, I was told that was a sheet metal they had last year, but it got painted. Like the paint was still fresh, is what I was told. Like you didn't want to touch it. Yeah, <laughs> it was impressive, and and it now it makes me salivate even more to wonder what Esden could have done with that class. Mm -hmm. We'll see this summer. It'll be out there. Shout out to Jaden Littman on her uh, past the uh, on yeah. Friday night. That was that was awesome. She drove yeah. with a Thoratai. She is not afraid of that thing at all. No. So no. those she has the old nut job truck. I didn't know that. So. Yeah. Yep. 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 I was like, we just sound like the Budweiser frogs. Yep. Budweiser. So. Yeah, um, she had she she strapped herself into that thing so tight that, uh, according to uh, Cody, uh, yeah. she could barely breathe when the when the vehicle came to rest. But she drove it. There was a little bit of a hole there at about a hundred foot, and she drove through that like a boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, so I, I, I forget if it was her uncle or somebody in the crew, but uh, they asked uh, they asked Misty if they could go over to the other side, and she's like, "Yeah, that's fine." And he explained, you know, what was going on, and and he came back and said, "Thank you for letting me go over there," because he said when I got there, her her harness was so tight that she couldn't breathe, and uh, I thought that was pretty. Pretty, uh, I mean, a lot of guys tighten the harness, but she must have enjoyed that a lot to uh, have the adrenaline pumping and not be able to breathe. 
So um, for those of you that oh. I wonder why we say womp womp, just enjoy the next 49 seconds of your life. Oh, I should turn the sound on. That helps, right, Charles? Yeah, that, that helps. <laughs> That is such an angry so motor. That makes me so happy. That is um, an angry, angry animal. You know, we talk about color a lot. And that's why, you know, the light limited super stock class. Let's run down our pro stock class. Case, Kloss, New Holland, Edco, Red, Green. Does that six mm -hmm. out of 10? Yeah. Or we had 11. We end up, the Hoyt, one of the Hoyt's tractors pulled twice, or we had both Hoyt's tractors and we had 11 pro stocks. But um, yeah, that's pretty neat when you think about that. So I love comments like this. Dustin Brewer, one of the many highlights for us was visiting the pullers in the pits. Man, we've been preaching that for years. You know, if you're a promoter, there's a few places I get it. You cannot let people in the pits. I truly understand that. But, man, 95% of you can. Have them sign the waiver, head into the pits, and, and let these kids do this stuff. The secondhand smoke team was super friendly and chatted with us for quite a while. The excitement with that group to be at that poll was very evident. That's so cool. Yeah, super cool. Um, Scrappy versus Bone Twister round two, Rock Valley, July 7th and 8th. <laughs> I wish. Wait, yeah. wait, um, what? Is that a no, thing or is that that's one of our, hyping? Uh, it's somebody hyping. It's one of our um it's one of our guys. It's got the beer money logo, so I'm not sure who it is. So, probably Doug Borth. Borth. Don't get my hopes up. <laughs> it's probably Borth. <laughs> um, what happened to the new pro stock to get DQ'd? Okay, so a uh, bunch of oil came out the bottom. John Mears was trying to flag down. It was what was Jerry at the hundred foot, Charles? No, he was at the finish line. Okay, who was at a hundred? Well, both they both put it yeah, up. They want track to track. Anyway, um, a lot of controversy. I'll just be honest with you. You know, did did the flag was the red flag up for Brett to see it at the hundred foot mark? I don't know. I haven't watched the video enough. I've had some people say it was. I've had some some people said it's not. But basically, excessive fluid. But that was a second place pass that they made, and they absolutely melted that motor. There was not an ounce of oil left in that tractor. So yeah, I think John to... saw it. We saw John go like this. He was trying to save him from 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 melting yep. it down. And you know what? At any puller, I mean, I don't know. Flag guys are out there and gals, but I don't always see them either. I'm just completely honest with you guys. I'm focused on where I'm driving on the yeah. track. And Brett, that's the second time ever driving a pro stock. And I talked to him Saturday night after the poll. Like he said, he was so zoned on everything else. And, oh, uh, yeah. Second time driving it, I'm sure. I mean, yeah. I don't think Four for a second pole. he did it on purpose. Not at all. No I mean, way. You are, no. Just them, just them starting that thing drew a crowd of 100 people. You know what I mean? It was awesome. It was awesome. So, but, but that's what get, happened there. You get, you get fueled up by adrenaline and you go tunnel vision. And it's, you know, they say that you can't necessarily see it in their faces. My, my photos and Cody's photos beg to differ. Um, you can see that tunnel vision and they don't see one damn thing other than that leader cone. Yeah. And that's they have one mission is to bend that throttle and go and go chase it, and you know and and Brett, Brett ahead, you know yeah. no matter how many times you make a pass down that track, that's going to happen. You get that tunnel vision, and you you know you miss things like that, and you know it it's a thing. It sucks, but it does happen. You know, and it's it's not a reflection on anybody. It's just it's a thing. It happens. And it, it doesn't matter if it's motorsports or anything, but you know, no, it, 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 you know, I ran track type of thing. You get tunnel vision. You're thinking about what you're doing. You don't really think about, you know, what else is going on around you. So the short body's comment of that pipe's heart on the hood makes it hard to see around. Yeah, it does. 
it, it really does because that's not a small pipe by any no. means to see around. And there's a lot of guys, you know, you get pictures and they're like doing one of these around the side of it, you know, and you're like, my neck would have hurt by the end of that pass. I'm just saying. Sure, Fighty, you're right on with that light. And I'm pretty 100%. sure you do have one because we had it at Shipshawana. It, it was on the wall at the end of the track. Yeah. Yep. Um, Cody, when, when Cody ran track, he when you could tell when he got tunnel vision because his handlebar mustache straightened out. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. That's actually kind of funny. That means you were flying, Cody. Give us a close-up. People haven't seen it. Come on. Uh-huh. Stick your ugly mug right up there. Hold on. Let me let me bring him up. Jason's doing stuff. It's fine. Oh, I, that's not, we don't want me. Ugh, that's scary. Uh, get you up there, Cody. I got I got called to Raleigh this weekend. Yeah, a lot of yes. Lot, I, asked, I got sure a lot fighty, of guys. Sure, fighty. That was perfect. Cody I loved it because he had no idea who it was. Nope. Get right up there, Cody. Show us the, show us the curls for the girls. It. He's, he's yeah, not quite old enough to remember Raleigh. No, no he's not. No. Raleigh had retired and was probably living in Boca by the time he was born. Right. Yep. Um, that was Tillman the baseball Temple card said, you wanted to get every year. Tillman yes. Temple said they were heard about 8 to 10 miles south of town on Friday night. Shore fight, he says, yes, I had a neighbor that's 7 miles north of the track, and they heard the mods. Doug Meisinger, Thursday nights across the pits. It had a lot of holes. We thought, couldn't find any holes Friday. Yeah, that place was full. It was very, very full. Shane says, yeah. no, no, no. I'm assuming he's referring to his raccoon. No, he's talking to them. That's the Amy Joe story. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I got to catch up on comments. We can, we can talk about the raccoon. I told him, I was like, dude, you saw some sun. He's like, it's not that bad. I was like... And like, oh, yes, it is. Somebody walks in and is like, holy shit, look at that guy. Does anybody, have a picture? Does anybody have a picture of Shane Hunt we can put on the screen? Uh, I would love to show. Shane was out there getting video in the pits for us, and uh, he got smoked a little bit, so it's all good. Chuck, um, Chuck, text me your address right now. I'll get that in the mail tomorrow. Uh, Mr. Pulltown Nut, every Monday at 9 p.m., I'm so deep in bush latte, I'm not even capable of driving a wheelbarrow. Oh, that is too good. That's a t-shirt right there, Cody. Yep. Can't Mr. even Pulldown drive. Nut, are, you, are, are you capable of driving a wheelbarrow under normal circumstances? We're just trying to establish a baseline. Right. But that's that's fair. I mean, that's, that's not even like questionable. That's fair. Yeah, my generator wasn't there this year. I got plans for that generator. Yeah, yeah that's why people I, could sleep. Ryan Christie really wants to be making that t-shirt, Jason. What's that? Ryan Ryan Christie really wants to know if you're making that t-shirt. Uh, the uh, what what was it uh, phrase? The uh, the worst habit I'm glad I have or something. Yeah, like that one. Yeah. He, yeah. Wants, he wants to know if you're making a t-shirt. Okay, I will then. Say, so read that to me. Can you all write it down? The worst. We'll habit. have to go back. We'll we'll go it's have like, to go back and look at the uh, the replay on that. Yeah, but some it's it paraphrased like the worst habit I'm glad I have. In reference to pulling. Yeah. Uh, had awesome time. Ran very smooth. Look forward to next year. Thank you, Todd. Carl Downs. The Carl Downs. Watch both sessions in Teams Franken shop, shop. Well done, group. We got to get that little light super there, Charles. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, let's see here. Rusty That's Ray. Bring some extra color to the class because it's a Moline. Not sure if you'll be at the Grand National next month. And told me, you bet your ass I'll be in Oklahoma. Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm heading to Manila, Iowa. Plan on being there with full pull vets up there at the Great Toma. Um, hey, Sarah, let the dog out. Thank you. Brent Shore Fighty. Charles, you should have had those GoPros in the cage Saturday night. It was the place to be, I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> I, w- I would have loved to, Brent, but my son has them all. I don't have any of mine. Um, Aaron Kern says, what blocks do Hoyts run? That is a Charles Post question. As far as I know, they are a genuine case. Oh, that's what I've been told as well. Doug uh, made an emoji. That means that that's Borth. Yes, Doug is um, watching the show. Uh, McCurdy's are the secondhand smoke team and are great people. Their daughter, right? Charles drives that. Is it Megan? Yes. 85? 
Yeah, Megan. Yep. Uh, yeah, she that... found out what it was like when you really get hooked into the track on Friday night. Boy, mm hmm. Yeah. And she uh, she did everything right in what could have turned into a very bad situation. Yes, 100%. Honestly, we need a light. It's seriously no offense to flag gals at all. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. I've seen some flags, guys, with lights on them. I know I've yeah. seen that on yeah, the, Northwest, the Outlaws. Yeah. Northwest Missouri runs uh, LEDs on their flags, too. Yep. Um, I think Brandon Simon has the best look back in the history of pulling to see where the leader cone is when he's in the pro stock on Friday night. That was money. I just love watching his head turn just to see how far he went by. That makes me chuckle. That makes me chuckle. Uh, you can tell guys to do the work versus guys who had it done. Oh, Doug, it's okay, buddy. We love you. Thank you, Colin Burkholtz. I'm really looking for the flagman, even when I'm shutting down on a normal pass. Yeah. It's tough. And it's not. It's no offense. You're just you're into your machine. Yep. Yeah, the Europeans have the lighted flags a lot. I see that over there. I know I've seen it with the outlaws, and I feel like one other association uses them. So. Here it is, Cody Raleigh Vanderholm. There it is. Yep. Yes. Yep. There it is. What about the commercial we did? Yeah, Ference did a womp womp uh, juice commercial for me. We haven't aired it yet, but it's pretty freaking awesome. So it's pretty. Uh, we're working on uh, t shirts, private label, uh, womp womp juice, and we got some good shit coming with that. That's going to be funny, the womp womp juice. So Ed Evercamp, DeBruz pass on Saturday night was awesome. That is a happy I've seen that crap, man in 20 that years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, he, he says, also he uh, also wins about, the award. I don't know about that. The drivers' meeting was the happiest I've seen him in twenty years. <laughs> That's true. Polar's face that when we said semis are first. So funny. Yeah, when he said semis are first, they all went what? And then they were like just running back to the pits to start getting ready. So he he also wins the I award thought, for uh, highest fireball out of the pipe for the weekend. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cody, Cody, did you happen to get that on Friday night? No, but uh, I didn't. Allie, Allie did. She did, but unfortunately, Sweet. there was uh, track equipment crossing in front of her at the exact same time, so it's blurry because the autofocus shifted on her. But it's still so it still looks like a, like a skid pull. steer is on fire. Yeah, kind of. I'll see if I can find it here. It's it's like a silhouette type of thing. Like it's like it's like mysterious because you know that like there's fire, and you're like, I want to know more. So it's yeah. like a teaser photo of like what just poked that out. You know what I mean? Like that that was cool. That's a I'll cool picture. I'll put it in the there. chat if I find it. I'm looking right now. Yeah, okay, I found it. It's not it's not great, unfortunately, but it definitely tells the story of how high it got. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, stupid, uh, stupid high. Yeah, it was really cool to see them get a win with their first uh, their first trip down the track with a new sponsor on board. Yeah, uh, that had to that had <clears throat> to make Bennett Transportation feel so good. That picture, guys, is from Sean and Jessica Boardman. This made my son's day. The picture of Gene Dunn. That's did. cool. Gene comes by himself, you guys. Yeah. With two semi trucks. Yeah. Yeah. And he broke one of them, had to load it, you know, the hard way. You guys wouldn't let me go to a pole by myself with a pedal tractor. None of you. Even Doug. No. No, we wouldn't. Oh, it's too big. You know what? I'll just share my screen. I'll do it that way. <laughs> Please do. It should also be noted for the good of the order. I have fire in the pipe right now. Yeah, but it's not near as high as Ryan had, so I'm kind of disappointed. You shut up. I'll put more wood in that bitch. <laughs> Anybody want yeah, to I may not fire? get that. Uh, that would be high enough to light the roof on fire. Let's not do that. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Right. And the worst thing is Ryan told me to expect it. 
Oh, it does it. Yeah, it does it regularly. Where was, where was the uh, you know, like the heads up on this so like I can move out of the track crew way? Um, I'm sorry. You're fired. I'd given Allie a heads up about Denny Browns because it does it at the time at the big end all the time too. She's she's like so she was yep. ready for it, but she's like, yeah, I missed. I it did it, but I missed it. Here's some um, pictures from old Cody Raleigh fingers. Um, Vanderholm from just talking about Puller's eyes. There's Mr. Spiegelberg. That's a cool shot. I walked back in, in for a little bit and just snapped a couple because that's something I don't do very often. You know, yeah. it's one of those deals where you you are going back there and you realize that you know you're you're kind of feel like you're expected to get every vehicle that goes down the track and it's hard to walk away from the side of the track. And that's something mm -hmm. I force myself to do to try and go back and get a couple, you know, staging shots like that. Some of the best stuff is the candid stuff, though, guys. You know that. I mean, yep. but it's hard to break away from what you know. You know. One yeah. of my favorite things to do before a poll starts is in that, you know, the 15 minutes before go time, you got to be. I have to be in my role and doing what I do. But for like the the 30 minutes prior to that, if at all possible, I love just hanging out at the scale. Yeah. I would I'd love the opportunity to get back in the pits type of thing. You know, go back in the yeah. pits and take get the time to go do that. And you know what? Gene Dunn might actually have gotten higher than Ryan with that one. That's from uh Dylan That Oliver. was big. Yeah. yeah. That was big. How many years ago was it that, that guys actually uh plumbed that in with spark plugs and did some of that stuff? How many oh, years ago? Uh, JR. JR Collins had his that way. Yeah. I don't believe that that I, I believe that that is still there. The plumbing is still there. I mean, Miles or the Miles or Mitch. I think it's Miles confirmed that with us, but since he owns it now, but I believe that plumbing is still there. Really? Mm hmm. Charles, Ryan, Cody, you guys are along the track. Charles probably couldn't hear up in the. What was the biggest like? Like, what was the most popular vehicle that went down the track? Do you guys think like any any gas from the crowd or like saw the most phones? Like, I feel like I saw the most phones out during the semi class. People recording. What do you guys? You know, just what's your gut from being up close? Or maybe you don't see that stuff because you're shooting through your cameras and Charles is announcing and can't hear. Yeah, it was too tough. I I wouldn't know. I it was too hard to hear. I kept trying to listen for like a you know a roar from from the crowd for something, but it, unfortunately with the air conditioner in there and everything else, it's just there's too much background noise. There's there's a lot of fun during the semis and the pro stocks. Um, you know, I mean, the biggest roar from the crowd is probably you know when Brandon Simon takes the mod and puts you know twenty feet on the leader type of thing, and then you know next person in the rep parish goes past. You know, like some of that stuff is is some of those like big woos type of thing you're talking about that's that's when i would say the big the big excitement is pumpkin pumpkin I'll donated up they got that fixed Go they pulled their night and won it <laughs> yeah so he actually came tried. up to me before yeah before Go he ahead, made Charles. his pass shane shane actually came up to me and uh apologized he's like Dude, I didn't come here to lay a giant goose egg for you guys. I'm really sorry. I'm like, dude, it's part of it. It happens. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad you're back on the on the track tonight. He said, "Well, we'll try and redeem ourselves." And then he went and won it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I had a puller, you know, Saturday night that says, you know, we found some more horsepower and we did some things and we broke. And unfortunately, they were they were looking for uh, the uh, telehandler shoving back in the trailer because it's part of pulling. You you chase more horsepower and you find some and then next you know you find a weak spot and that's that's just part of it yep. and they were very very appreciative to a bunch of people plus um you know the facility we had there with you know basically having a race shop on site so that they could fix it yeah bella fences are the nicest people and i know we say that a lot but man i've never really got a chance to talk to them until this year and both their tractors are so, but they're super sweet super sweet people guys Felt so bad for them to have both their yeah. supers go to bang. So Adam Drought said he had a, he's going to go make him two new oil pans, so he has a spare. Yep. Well, also we can we can blame Mad pulling picks for the oil pan. Is that what you're saying? So, no, he blamed I mean, us I'm not for wrecking that, but... at Johns. He blamed us for wrecking it. 
Yes. He's like, yeah, thanks, guys. I really needed that. <laughs> look, at, look at look at Cameron Neves. I mean, the guys changed the turbo on the side of the road type of thing because they blew a turbo on the side of the road and they got here and, yeah, they had lots and lots of fun. But that's part of it. This is a pro stock class Friday night. I spent a good bit of time I'll talking spy. to Cam on Saturday night. He's – you know, I don't get to see him that Great often guy. because obviously opposite parts of the country. But yeah, another another guy, super nice guy, cool guy. Yep. I appreciated that. Yeah, yeah, he's he's pretty legit. He's quiet until he gets until he gets to know you, and then uh, then you start then you you get the real Cameron. Yeah. They they couldn't get the semi started and it bro it shut down and they couldn't get started. Spent like what was it, Charles? Four hundred and some dollars on new batteries. <laughs> and yeah. He's like, it's still sitting over there running because we don't want to shut it off. Right. You know? Yeah. Oh, hey, Colt, Colton Taylor. It was an expensive. Uh, it was an expensive uh, uh, trip for them this year. Oh well, yeah, Jason Colton Taylor had the same problem with the pulling truck. It, yeah. He yeah. was worried for Saturday night if he was even going to be able to get it started, and if he did, he was like, I I can't turn it off because it won't start again. Yeah. I felt horrible for that guy after because apparently uh, somehow or another a couple of those condensation valves got opened in his pipes and uh, made it a little tough for him to make a pass on Saturday night. He made a good one on Friday night. Yeah. That was a good lick. Yeah. Yeah, the class the class had some issues there, and then they came back. Then he drove out of bounds. Luke did, unfortunately. So, Mike Beck, he was supposed to Whoa. be there, but he called me on Wednesday. Was able to watch the live stream. Wish I could have been there. Okay, hats off to the lady that was unhooking the tractors from the sled, pulling two hooks out of every tractor. That is the famous unhooker, not a hooker, an unhooker, Laura Guthrie, out of every tractor laying on the backstop digging out the chain. She's badass. Give her a raise. <laughs> Next question, not related, but Chandler had a birthday. Is he the bowling king, two-headed bowler? Yes, he is. <laughs> yes, Chandler is. We need to set up a tournament with him and ProFab. Awesome poll. You guys keep on keeping. I'll be there next year if the weather allows. So, Mike, you just send that super stock, and I'll drive it for you. Because when Ryan when Ryan asks this question, I'm going to say, I want to drive high-tech redneck, and if I don't have to worry about fixing it. <laughs> so, Mike, get oh, your shoot. super stock done and drive it out here yourself, please. I can afford it, guys. It'll be ready. Just the whole the whole month. I'm still looking for that money tree. So, but I'll do the best I can. I'll do the best I can. Um, Tom's Northway. He came for both nights. Great show. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, and I feel terrible for horses and <laughs> Rogiers, the horseshoes and oh, hand grenades. No. If they don't ever want to come back again to Nashville, I don't blame them. So, because they broke it bad last year and they broke it bad again this year. So. Yeah. Ooh. Bad, 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 bad. They have no luck at the track and hold ours. This is correct. So good. I was, well, is that that was the first time I've seen Phil Parrish drive uh, El Nino guys Friday night? I don't know because I've always just seen Red drive. It's the new tractor since it's been out. How about you guys? Have you seen Phil drive it at all, Dad? Um, yeah, yes, last fall we saw him at we saw him last fall at uh, at uh, Jeremy Wagler's. Yeah. So, but that thing, that tractor is a different beast that is a different animal than uh, from what we saw uh a year ago or even even four or five months ago oh yeah it was it just sounded different in the performances there i mean they they stepped it up again i want to say whatever right. change whatever changes they made in the off season i think they're working yep i, I mean we'll find right. out we'll find out here soon enough I would like to say Rhett said something about that's only the second time he's drove in a certain amount of time period. Like, yeah. So, kudos to him because that was a hell of a pass. Pro stocks are awesome. Um, breaking news. No joke. Or what is it? No joke. Uh, they're picking up their new mini rod in Illinois right now. Just got the text. So. Hmm. Just got the text. So Evans is doing that. You're so. starting to sound like Dave Bennett. 
What? Uh, how, tell me how. I, if if it works out, oh, in my Dave. hometown fair this fall, I might get a chance to drive a mini. We'll see. Dave, <laughs> Dave, uh, from time to time, Dave talks about getting texts when he's on when he's on the mic at Louisville, and just reminding me. Oh of that yeah, for, you're right. For for some reason, I'm like I'm getting a text. Yep. Did you mark the G G on uh, your uh, Dave Bennett bingo sheet? Maybe. <laughs> all I need all is right. for someone Sorry. to say gun and uh, all I need is for someone to say gun and rod, and I got a bingo. I thought they got the mini out of North Carolina. Uh, what does Kevin's text message say? No joke was in Illinois picking up their new ride. That's all I got, guys. So. Um, Maybe Kevin went and picked it up in North Carolina and brought it back to Illinois. It's hard to say. Kevin's good like that. He does nice things for people. So that new announcer stand is pretty sweet, guys. Yep. The, the luxury box up there. What's that, bud? It's having the luxury box on the rest of it. That's, that's yeah. Nice. Uh, 16 year old driving a pro stock for the first time. Watching D Dad Denny back him in. I talked to Denny Saturday night. He just wasn't happy how the tractor hooked up. He said it's a brand new set of tires. He's just he goes, I don't know if I like them. <laughs> <laughs> he said we just never could get the momentum. So hard to hey, say. Well, he, did, he he drove it like he'd been doing it his whole life. Yeah, and that's what that's what Denny said. He goes, Elijah didn't do nothing wrong. We just can't get these tires to hook. So I remember he told me the story, Jeez. but I heard so many. You know, go ahead. JC Thomas has a picture from the Friday night pass uh, of Eli's eyes. Holy crap. That kid was intense. He had all the confidence in the world. He knew he knew where he was going. He knew what he needed to do. Here's Brandon's winning so, pass on Friday chip, night. He's a chip off the old block. Yep. I, I like uh, Brown's hauler. When you pull the pro stock in, right on the front wall of the hauler, once you drive in, is a 60-inch TV. Yeah. yeah. There's your winner Friday night. Man, that was a pass. Whew. It was fun from Charles' perspective. When you see the sled go past the window, that's kind of how you can kind of judge yeah. where the distances were. We're here with Leroy up there in announcer stand. Here's Brett Hackstead's first ever pass on the new pro stock. Guys, and with the hood up on this thing, this mirrors El Nino. It's polished it's, it's to the spotless. to the tilt it underneath the hood. Yeah. The guy drove it from the shop in the background to there. Like that's that's all he did. Yeah, drove didn't from. have to put in the trailer. Yeah. Didn't have to put it in the trailer. So after this pass, I'm going to bring up the results. We're going to go through this, and we're going to go to bed. So good stuff there. So that's a pro stock class Friday night. Again, just, guys, go to you. If you want to watch more stuff, go to YouTube. You can go back and buy the live stream to their website. Go to pullerschampionship.com. Click on live stream. So Gallus Todd wants to know, do you think farm truck would ever build a pulling truck now? I don't know. That's a good question. He Charles, told me that. He told me that this year he will put the prison bus on the sled. He was going to do oh, it last nice. year, but he kind of wussed out at the very last minute. He said, I'm not going to do it. He said, I was kind of mad that I I was annoyed with myself that I didn't do it last year. He said, I will do it next year. I promise you. I told him I was going to hold him to it. At Wagler's? Yeah. All we got to do is get, uh, you know, get, 15 of the biggest boys in the house and just shove them in the back. We can wheelie that thing down the track. There you go. Okay. I better get a ride on that. Pullerschampionship.com. Results, 2023 results, Friday, Saturday, overall results. Okay, again, it was a point system, guys. Um, and then if you if it was tie-in points, then we went to total distance. So, again, shout out to Prescription Tillage Technology, our title sponsor. Lutz Agency for they donated a bunch of money as well as the five hundred dollar um, bonuses for Friday night and then Chaos Fab sponsored the um, Pro Stock class and we got to see Lindsay drive the short fuse mini rod and she drove the wheels off that thing it was awesome so Jeremy Witt our twenty twenty two champion 
Charles, you can jump in and help me with this. Um, Jeremy Witt got third both nights, total of six points, and we had a tiebreaker. Math, Leroy and Charles both had to do the math upstairs on this one. So yes, three did. people had six points, and it came down to the total distance then. You can see Jeremy Witt was third both nights. Kuzusik was fourth on Friday, second on Saturday. David Doherty was fifth on Friday, first on Saturday, and it came down to total distance. So three feet separated that. So that's good stuff right there. But last year's champion defends his title and um, walks away with the $5,000 check. Um, 95 limited pros. Um, Nick Gallitz was last year's champion. Running in the red. He's your defending Badger State champion. Brett Shorefighty, the hometown boy. Sweeps the weekend. And he, had to, ah, and he had to earn it. He he roached a turbo yes, charger did. Friday night and had to put a different one on. The people camping next to me had part of Brent's turbo charger in their in my pocket. They showed it to me Saturday morning. They said they let it cool down before they picked it up. Though. <laughs> so, uh, they said it came into the stands there a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, short fight, he swept it. Engel King had third both nights. He tied with Gallat second and third, but then Engel King inched him out for second place by three inches. Sydney Summers did an awesome job. Second place on Friday night and then fifth place on Saturday night right there with all of them. Hartman, your Silver Series champ, finishes in fifth. And then you can go on down through the list there. So, Not bad for five cylinders, huh? Yeah. Uh, Super Farms, Jeremy Roberts, first on Friday, second on Saturday, 663 feet. Josh Miley, you're defending, uh, let's see, Silver's – no, Champions Tour Super Farm chat. Yeah. champ, second on Friday, fourth on Saturday. Uh, Russ Freeze, Don Slama, Dave Whelan, Shane Maston. Look look how well Shane Maston did with the 10th on Friday night, coming back. Yeah. yeah. Good to see that with, for, from a point system. So I feel bad for Gary. He just had problems. That, that thing just didn't want to behave. Yeah. He, nope. Got second, he won Grand National Point, got second at the farm show, went down to Florida and just kicked everybody's butt down there. I'm not sure what happened there. That stinks. Just it was the turbo. I think it, the turbo was just lagging, wasn't it, Charles? I, you know what? I don't know. After he made his test pass, I was still down on the ground, and I was I went over there while they were opening the side shields, and and he was he was poking at everything, but didn't quite didn't figure it out yet as to what it was. You no, know, because it sounded like proud gear, you know, the way yeah. it ran, but yeah. it never really whistled on top. So no. Pro stocks. Yeah, you know, again, shout out to the Parrish family. Second on Friday, first on Saturday. Brandon Simon first on Friday night with a big pass, and then third on Saturday. So, you know, Rhett, Rhett and Phillip got three points, and then Brandon got four points. Hoyt's got third with a nutcase. As in Lemke, last year's champ, goes fourth. Elsine fifth. Elijah six. Hoyt seven. Hexdad not eight. Then Shramick, Wildman, and then um, Coolers and Robbie Lemke. So Wildman popped the charger, heard something in the charger Friday night, and then uh, the cloths burnt a piston. That's why they did not come back. I never did hear why Shramix had to bow out. Bow out. Um, I was told that their engine builder said, don't pull it unless you want to wait for parts. Gotcha. So, uh, yes, great weekend for the El Nino team and Chaos Fab. Thank you, Daniel Heltebrand. Diesel Supers. Travis Schlaba, your grand national champion, sweeps it. 631. Ken Payne, Super Rooster, was only six feet back. He was right there. Dagen Hartz, 423. They didn't have a good pass Saturday night. I'm not sure what happened. Bella Fences um, yeah. didn't come back, or, or Doug Meisinger as well. Doug was hooked up about 100 foot or 125 feet when it kind of white smoked, and he coasted to about 203 there. You can see his distance. So He, had he, 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 he said he told Travis, for the first 10 feet, I had you. Yeah. <laughs> That's something Doug would say. No, uh, Cody McKinley from Corsa was in the trailer, uh, and he, they showed them. They showed me the computer reading the middle turbo. Or yeah. I don't. He's, he said one and a half. He, he he said he took out one and a half. <laughs> uh, Bobby Jones, both nights, light supers. Yeah. Um. Honestly, just kind of an ass kicking. I mean, just to be real honest, <laughs> it just, was. It really he was. just was freaking dominant. Um. I mean, look at his distance: six hundred fifty-eight feet. You know. Henley was second with six. I thought that was Haley, not Henley. Is it Henley or Haley? No, it's Henley. Haley. Okay, my bad. Oh, is it? I'm thinking Haney. My bad. For the Cujo, that's something. Yeah, but look at that. It's a, it's a diesel number two. Yep. That's yeah. fun. Way to go, Bobby Jones Field Sobriety. That's a Blackburn built tractor, right, Charles? I believe so, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, good to see that made 
nobody made that happier than Adam Wilson, that Ryan Henley. He loves them diesel light supers. We all do. They sound good. Larry Phillips, Brandon Phillips, Brian Tramick. They had an awesome pass Saturday night. Tramix did finally on the light super. That's the best yeah. I've seen it run. Yeah. Last year's champ finished in sixth. Spiegelberg's got the nose in the air Saturday night. I remember that. Bernie yeah, laid yeah. one out there. Haney's and then Bulls. They're still working on that fuel pump issue there from Louisville. They'll get that figured out. It's already back at Pickler's. Brent Yarn said. Four wheel drive trucks. Jim Bosch, Midnight Raider, sweeps it. Yeah, baby. Charlie Hines, run a wild Texas style two. Jake Zarin, your NTPA champ, was third. Terry Hagendorf was fourth. Clay Poole, your outlaw champ, was fifth. The Punisher, Foster Child, Thumper, Renegade, just in time. G and K uh, guys really, they struggled too. It was a tough weekend yeah. for, for Young and Grace. Yeah. yeah. Are they teammates? Yes. That's what I thought. They had both those trucks down in Glencoe, Kentucky, when we were down there filming. They made a couple test passes. So, super stock diesel trucks. Dan Scheid was there in the winter circle Saturday night. That was pretty cool with mm -hmm. Ken. I had no, I didn't know that was his son in law because I said, Hey, how do you know this? And he goes, Lots, well, he's my son in law. I'm like, Oh, Crowder, you lucky turd. <laughs> <laughs> and then Debbie just giggled. This was funny. But uh, yeah, Kent Crowder, third on Friday, first on Saturday, fourth, four points overall, 629 feet. The rumor, first time I'd seen that truck run, had an awesome weekend, second Friday, fourth Saturday. Brady Ingram, Jaden Littman, something to prove. Rock Hard Ram, last year's champ, finishes fifth. Evil Diesel, Mr. Witt, brand new truck. Craig Dickey, the Cummins Killer. Man, that, I love Cummins Killer. Terry Biggs and Chase Eller are the caretaker. And then the minis, Mr. Hurt, B Bear. Second place both nights, but most Mr. Consistency, Abby got two thirds. And Logan Pysig, they had an awesome pass Saturday night. Won the class by like 12 feet. So Logan drove Saturday night, and then Tim drove Friday night, if I remember. I might have it. No. Yeah. Logan yeah, drove Saturday, Tim right. drove yep. Friday. Lindsey Campbell, brand new mini. I mean, I think that was her, that was her first competition, right, guys? I probably. I think the runs that she's made yes. are she has this test track. Yeah, so you can, yeah. you can see the point system there. Um. Mods, Tommy Owens, your uh, second place tractor in the Grand National Championship goes one. Brandon Simon goes number two. Dylan Owens with Thorn. Man, Thorn laid down a pass Friday night, you guys. Yes, Got did. a brand, brand, brand new tractor. Yep. Essentially, yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, same with Bunnage, brand new tractor. Finishes in fourth. Wayne Sullivan, great to see the Kentucky in there. Jamie Austin, Cameron Neves. Uh, Cameron Eve's got some lifters, right, Charles? Didn't he? Uh, yeah, he he pulled a spark plug out of his pocket and showed me that uh, it it yeah. didn't, had stuff contacted. <laughs> yes, stuff that should not contact contacted. So, uh, Doug Borth says Killer was only running on two turbos and didn't know it. That sucks. Cummins Killer, so he knows those guys pretty well. And oh yeah, Fr Friday night they had a loose exhaust uh, flange. Super semis, Ryan DeBrew. First, second Friday, first on Saturday, 702 total. So him and Gene tied, and then Leroy had to do the math. Charles and I were having fun watching Leroy add all that up. So we'll get him a calculator next year. Um, yeah, just what a, what an event. Carl Ruddick says Dylan Owens and Thorne will be fun to watch this year. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah. they will. They will. Yeah. So, so this will you, Carl, if you start wearing your cool shoes again. <laughs> How did the Pick'em contest finish? You know what? Brent Yarn was going to come on tonight. I think he got called into work, so he's in charge of that. Uh, all the technical stuff on that, but we'll find out there. So, what, Robert? You want another five hundred bucks? You already, you already won fifty five hundred bucks this weekend, Jeremy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> now the week, and thank you. He was, I mean, he he was one of the biggest pushers as pullers for the Super Farms so, to get in there, and he represented well. So. Good to see yes, that. It was good to and it was good to see him and the family out. Yep. Yep. Um yeah. This coming weekend, I'm gonna head down to Byron, Illinois. Friday night they got some truck drags. And then Saturday night, I'm gonna uh do some filming for ISP. Mark Kelsey is a promoter there. He also owns a Satsuma truck track in Florida that I went down to this year. So I'm gonna help him out. And I'm Doug and Hope are heading Kelsey. up. On. What's that? Mark. Mark Kelsey pulls a 1256 or 1456 too, doesn't he? Like light super tractor. Yep, I think it's a 12. Yep. 
I think it's a 12. And then Duggan and Hope are going to uh, Onaway to hang out for the weekend. She loved, Hope loves those um, diesel truck drags or the truck racing up the hill and all the trucks. I think as of right now, we have 96 trucks registered to race. And it wow. will be on uh, Flow Racing. Yeah, Flow Racing, guys. Check that out. Chandler from our team is going up to – he's doing the Wisconsin thing, the Kevin Rudd Memorial for the Mini Rods and Taylor, Wisconsin, covering all that. Mackenzie's going to get a dog with her sister Saturday in Indiana. So that's good. That's good stuff. Charles, you so you're you're on the mic? I will be on the mic with uh... – Yves Bertrand doing the uh, French version of whatever I say um, at uh, Great Lakes Big Rig Challenge. Um, what else? I think we're I think good. Cody, I'm. What do you got going up next? Where are you heading? Uh, to shoulder uh, surgery or no, hospital? That's next Wednesday. So um, we'll see. We'll see after that. So the short party's coming. I just dropped that picture in the chat for you. Oh, okay. Yep. There's, yeah, an under that There's an underhood shot of the tractor in there as well. Yeah. Yes, that we did. Uh, Ooh, crap. My, my inbox did. is full. I asked Paul how froggy is feeling. It was maybe about 1 o'clock in the morning or so. And uh, he said, I'm feeling pretty good. So I said, I have an idea. And into Jumping Jack Flash, uh, Des was supposed to be done with their truck. And since they broke on the dyno and did not bring it, I mean, we could have just rolled it out there. I mean, it have been okay. No engine in it. It'd been fine, but uh, yeah. So we did this with uh, we did this with a new pro stock. So um, and how new it is is there was no stickers on it when we did this. So so Charles has the uh, under the hood picture. And uh, for anybody that doesn't know, this is this is what we call long exposure. So I took a drone and used the drone to use the lights from the drone to light paint and basically light up the tractor when everything else is dark. So hey, did you get the drone up at all though to see the full house Saturday night? No, I didn't. What? You're fired. <clears throat> so uh okay you want which one do you want to put up? Do you want to put your long exposure shot up Cody? You Charles is first. Let's see here. So this is under the hood of the new Holzauer Pro Stock. It's it's clean. Yeah. And it is plumbed and wired and censored. I mean, if, if it can be looked at, they're tracking it. Yeah. Here is a uh, shot of Travis's eyes. And here's the cool photo. So talk about that, Cody. So if you ask Paul, Paul will say, I don't need, I, I he's like, that's, that's, he's like, that's fucking cool. <laughs> he's talking about it. No, he's it like, I don't, I don't know. It's a Dalai proof show. It is, it is now. And uh, he's like, I don't know. You want to talk about engines and motors and shit like that? I can do that. But that's fucking cool. He's like, I don't know anything. So that's that's what it's a long exposure. So we're leaving the shutter open on on the camera, and we're using the lights from the drone to light up the tractor in in darkness. And so it is. I mean, it, it's it's not just like blacked out frames. It is black out there, and you're you're using the lights from the drone. And that's what you see is the light trails from the drone itself. So it was a it was a team effort. Um, took. Uh, Took several of us to get it out there, and uh, took a uh, Misty was my uh, my assistant to actually get the, you know, I told her, you know, like last year, Charles, when you were my assistant for uh, for Lance's for hopes, yeah, yep. um, Misty was my assistant. I told her when to when to click the button and when to unclick the button, and uh, I took a drone and flew it around there. So that's what uh, that's what lit it up. And it, like I said, it's it's so new that there was no stickers on this picture because it got stickered the next day. Yeah, that was Thursday night. You did that, right? Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Yep. Thursday so, morning. Yep. Th yeah. Thursday morning. So, um, yeah, it, it's fun just because I mean it's unique and it's something different that you know it's something that I enjoy doing that nobody else is doing. I guess. Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. 
I know there's pe I know there's people who want to learn how to do it, but right. You have to, you have to go to Cody Raleigh Fingers Vanderholm Media School of Cool. Yeah, now that I've seen and it, it done be, and that I can trigger my new camera with my cell phone. The the biggest challenge, like Misty's like, Are you are you ready yet? I was like, No. Are she like, Are you ready yet? No. Because the biggest thing that you don't think about is you have to get that in focus. And when it's dark, it's all manual. It, I mean, there's there's no autofocus known to man that can shoot at dark and figure out, you know, how to get it crispy. So yep. it is manual. You shoot a long exposure, wait, look at it. You shoot a long exposure, wait, look at it. And it takes, I mean, to get this one shot, there's probably 35 long exposures that were over 20 seconds long to get to this shot. Yeah. When we did Lance's there last year, I mean, we were out there for an hour, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that, and that's, that's just part of it. I mean, it's, it's not something that it's a quick, quick process by any means. And it's, it is all manually done and tweak and tweak and tweak until you're finally happy with something. And, uh, yeah, everybody else is kind of like, you know, are we done yet? Are we done yet? And it's like, no, I'm not happy. So. And Cody is for hire. He will do this for you folks. So if you're out on the Western series or the outlaws or somewhere on the <laughs> champions tour, the NTPA where he goes, you should probably send him a message. He's for sale, but he's not on sale, as RJ Simon says. Yep. Yes. I did I did get asked to go to Canada. I'm not opposed to that. As long as someone's paying the bill. Right. Well duh. And they provide girls. So. Well that too. Cody can be bought with women. Okay. Just gonna throw that out there for you. So Cody can also be bought with nice bourbon too, by the way. That is also true. And there she is. Cody, you, talk, you, you should talk about your bourbon experiences this weekend because you had a good weekend. I did. I did. And uh, there are some people out there who drink bourbon. If Brent's watching, I guarantee you that uh, uh, he will give you some some love for what you brought home. Uh, yeah, it was it was a good weekend. Um, there's a Weller Special Reserve. There's a Willet and three E.H. Taylors that came home with me from this weekend. And I've been ta chasing the E.H. Taylor for a while because I was one of those lottery states where it may or may not happen, and it may happen like across the state that you don't know about as far as what gets to Iowa. So, um, yeah, I was, it was a good weekend. So shout out to that uh, liquor store, which did actually sponsor both years of the yeah. Pillars Championship. It was a yeah. small sponsorship, but it was a sponsorship, and uh, – that liquor store on the south side of Nashville, boy, I'll tell you what, they've got a hell of a bourbon selection. Yep. Yeah, and last year was the first year that uh, had Bardstown. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we all got some because it, it, it was there. It's like, okay, let's see what's up. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, no, it's a, it's a great little place down there. And uh, it's called Allmark Store on the south side of Nashville, Illinois. And it is well worth the stop. They did not have the bush light cans with the the uh, the corn cans last year, but nobody did in Illinois. That was only an Iowa thing. But they had everything else that we wanted to drink. So, good deal. Yes, they do have pretty girls in the booth, Doug. <laughs> but you don't pull a white so you can't get there no but i can get all the pictures right carrie lowers says i'll make sure you have your favorite next time not a girl carrie <laughs> carrie you're biting off more than you're gonna want to chew on <laughs> yep. he has expensive taste <laughs> Awesome. Kerry, thanks for everything you do for our, yeah, yes, for our event thank you. and everything down there. So everybody head out to Holes Hours again, June 2nd, June 3rd for the Southern Illinois Showdown. Um, I'm going to be in Monette, Missouri with the Outlaws for Outlaw TV that weekend. The first weekend of Outlaw season gets started then. So it's going to be a busy summer, guys. So thank you to Paul Romack, Brent Yarn for all their hard work for the Polar's Championship.
Carrie, of course, as well, Mr. Holzauer. I talked about everything at the beginning of the opening. Uh, Charles Leroy on the mics. So um, thanks for watching tonight. Have a great night. See you soon. See you guys. See you guys. Later. Peace.